bus. Let's go share it, Labrador. The monster on the stairs. One morning, Sheriff Labrador had just gotten to work when several Forestville residents rushed to the Forest Police Station. Oh, oh, Sheriff Labrador, I need to report a crime. There's a monster on our stairs. Its head is big and round. Its eyes are bright and red. Oh, 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 oh dear, it's so scary. <laughs> Mrs. Pig shivered with fright as she spoke. You see us? It was so scary. I haven't been sleeping well recently because Peacock, who lives on the top floor, sings every night. I've complained several times, but he won't listen. That voice? Oh, my goodness. It's so unpleasant. I didn't expect to see a monster last night, too. Oh, dear. I was so scared I had nightmares. I haven't had any sleep. Oh, I thought my old eyes were bad. I didn't expect to see a monster with my own eyes at this age. Cluck, cluck. Oh, it's a little exciting now that I think about it. Cluck, cluck. Uh, <laughs> calm down, everyone. There's no such thing as monsters. I'll investigate this matter. Don't worry, there's no case Sheriff Labrador can't solve. Woof! Sheriff Labrador arrived at the residential building. He was about to climb the stairs when he heard Mr. Hippo's voice coming from the top. This is too much! Who did this? Sheriff Labrador quickly ran upstairs. <sighs> uh, Mr. Hippo, what's going on? Oh, Sheriff Labrador, look! I just painted the stair handrail last night. The paint hasn't even dried, but it's already been scratched. Sheriff Labrador glanced at the handrail and noticed that the paint in the newly painted white railing had been scratched off in one section. He looked carefully and saw a feather stuck to it. Um, this looks like Peacock's feather. I remember Mrs. Panda said that Peacock sings every night. She even complained about him. Don't tell me. Looks like I need to pay Peacock a visit. Sheriff Labrador came to the top floor where Peacock lived. He was about to knock on the door when he heard a piercing voice coming from inside the house. Let's learn to bark like dogs! Woof! 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 Let me hear you! Woof! 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 Oh, my! Oh, what kind of singing is that? Sheriff Labrador was miserable. He quickly knocked on the door. Peacock, please open the door. It was a while before Peacock opened the door. Oh, oh my! It's Sheriff Labrador! Oh, what's the matter? <laughs> Peacock, um, your singing is very unique. Oh, my! You recognize my talent. Oh, well, this song is called Learning to Bark Like a Dog. If you like, I'll sing a few more verses for you. Let's learn to bark like a dog. Stop, stop, stop. Uh, don't sing yet. Peacock, I came here because someone reported that there was a monster on the stairs last night. As Sheriff Labrador was talking, he observed Peacock's house. Suddenly, a red mask on the table caught his attention. <laughs> Sheriff Labrador, there's no such thing as monsters. And I haven't been out of the house for several days and now. And even if there were a monster, I wouldn't have seen it. <laughs> Sheriff Labrador's dark, round eyes suddenly turned directly on Peacock. You're lying. Look, you're the monster. Peacock began to panic. What? What? What monster? Don't talk nonsense unless you have proof! You said you haven't been out of the house for several days, but Mr. Hippo said that he painted the handrail on the stairs last night. The paint hadn't even dried when it was scratched off in one section. Your feather was stuck on the railing, and your red mask had a paint stain on it. Look! It must be you wearing the mask, pretending to be the monster and scaring others! Hi! Hi! Peacock stammered big drops of sweat appearing on his forehead. Uh, oh, uh, oh dear, Sheriff Labrador, this, uh, this, uh, this is not my fault. Uh, uh, mm -mm. I was 
singing in my house. Uh, they didn't know how to appreciate my singing. And they complained about me over and over again. Uh, I was just giving them a little scare. <laughs> Peacock, you disturbed others by making noise, and then you pretended to be a monster to scare them. I think you should come back to the police station with me. Seeing that things were not going well, Peacock suddenly forced his way out the door and sprinted towards the stairs. Peacock, don't run on the stairs. Danger, stop. Sheriff Labrador quickly chased after him. Peacock ran wildly down a few floors. Suddenly he slipped and rolled down the stairs. Sheriff Labrador called for the ambulance at once. Peacock, do you know that running, jumping, and playing on the stairs is very dangerous? These stairs are high and steep, and if you miss a step, you'll roll down from a high place. It's easy to get injured that way. Ah! Good heavens! <laughs> Why am I so unlucky? <laughs> Only music can comfort me now! <gasps> Let's learn to bark like dogs! Woof! 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 Let me hear ya! Woof! 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 Oh, dear. Again. Please. Please don't sing anymore. <laughs> Let's go, Sheriff Labrador! The Wooly Monster That Caught Little Rhino Oh, dear. Sheriff Labrador, I watched a popular movie about a wooly monster recently. That woolly monster catches little children who don't like to wash their feet. And they all have stinky feet. Do you know that woolly monster catches children with stinky feet and tickles the arches of their feet? Then it gets dizzy when it can't take the smell anymore. <laughs> In the police station office, Officer Doberman stood at Sheriff Labrador's desk and chatted on and on. Sheriff Labrador covered his ears and turned to the left. Officer Doberman walked to his left side. Sheriff Labrador turned to the right, and Officer Doberman walked to his right side. Uh, Officer Doberman, I'm working right now. Oh dear, it's okay. Go on working. I tell you. Um, <clears throat> Officer Doberman, have you sorted out the documents for the previous case? Uh, uh no, I haven't. I'll, I'll do it right away. Officer Doberman moved swiftly to his desk. Sheriff Labrador heaved a sigh of relief. <sighs> Suddenly, they heard rapid footsteps. Little Rabbit and Little Duck ran into the office, panting. <gasps> oh no! Sheriff Labrador! Little Rhino is missing! What? <sighs> yes! We were playing hide and seek at Little Rhino's house, but we couldn't find Little Rhino, no matter how hard we tried! Huh? Hide and seek? Little Rhino may be hiding in a place you didn't expect. Like under the bed, behind the curtain. Why don't you look more carefully? <sighs> Sheriff Labrador, Little Rhino is really missing! Quack! We started playing after lunch! We still haven't found him yet! Quack! <laughs> We looked everywhere. I recently saw a movie about a woolly monster that catches children with stinky feet. A little rhino's feet are so stinky. He must have been caught by the woolly monster. Sheriff Labrador was concerned. Three hours have passed from the time you finished lunch until now. Little rabbit, little duck, there's no such thing as monsters. Something may have happened to Little Rhino. Take me to Little Rhino's house to have a look. No problem. Sheriff Labrador followed Little Rabbit and Little Duck. They soon arrived at Little Rhino's house. He searched every corner carefully, including under the bed, behind the curtains, and under the tables. But there was no trace of Little Rhino. This is strange. Where could little rhino be? Sheriff Labrador frowned. Suddenly, a faint odor floated over. Ugh, what's that bad smell? Oh, wait, a bad smell? A little rabbit said that little rhino's feet are especially stinky. Sheriff Labrador's dark, round eyes suddenly lit up. Aha, I know how we can find little rhino. 
Sheriff Labrador followed the odor and sniffed. The smell came from the cabinet, but the cabinet was stuffed with junk and the door was stuck. It couldn't be opened. Watch me! Sheriff Labrador found a toolbox and he used a wrench to pry open the cabinet. Sure enough, little Rhino was inside the cabinet. He was soaked in sweat and had fainted. We found him! Let's take him to the hospital! At the hospital, little Rhino remained unconscious for a long time. I want to get out. I want to get out. Uh, huh? Where am I? You're in the hospital. You're all right now, little Rhino. Tell me, why were you in the cabinet? <laughs> Sheriff Labrador, I, I thought if I hid in the cabinet while we were playing hide and seek, they wouldn't be able to find me. But the cabinet was so dark, small, and stuffy. I wanted to get out, but the door wouldn't budge. In the end, in the end, I couldn't breathe and I fainted. It was so scary. <laughs> little Rhino, the storage cabinet is a confined space with little air. You may not have enough oxygen if you hide inside it, so it's very dangerous. If we didn't find you in time, your life might have been in danger. Don't hide in the cabinets next time. <laughs> Thank you, Sheriff Labrador. I understand now. 